My name is Amadea Weber, and I have the privilege of announcing the winners for the 6th through 8th grade Social Studies Awards this year. In 6th grade, there were many excellent historians, but two showed passion and creativity in ways that made them stand out. The first award goes to the enthusiastic historian, Madison Jacobson. Learning about history does not stop at the bell for Madison. She passionately pursues learning history all the time, and I know very well that she will use that knowledge to champion the causes she cares about in the future. Congratulations, Madison. The second award goes to the creative historian, Henry Briggs. Henry routinely shows that he can be creative and bring life to his understanding of history and the world in ways that make it fun and educational for everyone. For example, when creating a new country, Henry took his learning even further, creating an entirely new country anthem for his bucket country using the Brazilian national anthem as inspiration. Congratulations, Henry. In seventh grade, the following students exhibited excellence in both online and in-person learning. They complete work in a timely manner, ask questions that challenge our thinking, and provide comments that elevate class discussion. So from Mrs. Holly and Ms. Warden, I am pleased to announce that Alicia Ponce Valise and Caden Mosen Zadigan are now honored members of the Roman Legion. Congratulations on your excellent work in world history this year. Now for eighth grade US history. From Mrs. Stadley, from Ms. Stadley our most outstanding U.S. historian this year is Helen Yancey. Helen has shown a deep understanding and passion for U.S. history this year. She asks thoughtful and out-of-the-box questions and has been a leader in class discussions with her peers. She views the victories and challenges of our nation's history from multiple perspectives and genuinely enjoys learning about the various topics they've covered this year always seeking to dive deeper and gain a richer understanding of the people, cultures, and concepts discussed. Helen has the curiosity, the ambition to be a true historian. Now this year's most improved U.S. historian. That goes to Dion Lissoff. Dion worked very hard during the second term in U.S. history. He made real progress, not in only in keeping up with his work, but also in making connections with the content. He participated more in class discussions and was very successful overall. Good work, Dion. Congratulations to all of our Social Studies Award winners this year. You did awesome. And I hope you enjoy history for the rest of your lives. You are watching Cable 10, Aurora, Illinois, Community Access Channel. Wayne's World, Wayne's World, party time, excellent. Woo, 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 woo. All right. All right. Welcome to Wayne's World. Here's your host, Wayne Campbell. Party! Party, party! It's Friday. It's 1030. It's time to party. I'm your excellent host, Wayne Campbell. With me, as always, is Garth, party on Wayne, party on Garth. Okay, so it's that time of year again for school awards. Excellent. Yeah, we get a party with the most excellent students from Silverton Middle School out there in Silverton, Oregon. Go Falcons! Go Falcons! Woo! Okay, so when we say party, we mean a Falcon Awards party. So here we go. Falcon Awards! Falcon Awards! Party time! Excellent! Woo, 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 woo. All right. Let's jump right into it. Here are the awards for the most excellent subject, language arts. Not! Yeah, right! Like anyone believed that language arts was the most excellent subject. As if. Yeah. That makes me want to hurl. So, here are the awards for what is actually the most excellent subject. Math! Extreme close-up! Oh! 
Okay, our first category of the evening is math excellence in the sixth grade. And the winner of the awards goes to Sosie Thompson and Ava Brodingham. We're not worthy! We're, We're not worthy! worthy. All right, moving on to the next category, math excellence in the seventh grade. The envelope. Mm -hmm. And the awards go to Ava Musgrove and Cole Oven. No way. Way. No way. Way. All right. And finally, our last category, math excellence in the eighth grade. And the award here goes to Nova Graham, Sawyer Hacker, and Amelia Broyhill. We're not worthy! We're not worthy! Okay. So that's all the time we have for this year. So until next year, Party on, Garth. Party on, me. Wake world! Wake world! Party time! Excellent! Woo, 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 woo. Science Awards for the 2021 calendar year. We'll start with Miss Wright. The Super Sixth Grade Science Awards goes to two students that demonstrate consistent effort both online and in person. They are both self-motivated, independent, organized, helpful, positive, and eager to learn. No matter the task or assignment, their submitted work is complete, on time, and beautifully done. Their level of academic excellence and expectations for themselves stand out among their peers. They are a joy to have in class, and I can always depend on them for a chuckle after a bad joke. Thank you, Brianna Rubisom and Lincoln Teeny, for showing up and making science better for everyone. Congratulations, you earned it. Now for the seventh grade science awards from Ms. Powell. Ashley Bernal exhibits many qualities of a scientist. Her attention to detail is impressive. Ashley is an extremely hard worker and is passionate about learning. She learns from her mistakes and asks for help when she needs it. She has done a fabulous job in the classroom and when working from home this year. The Marie Curry seventh grade science award this year goes to Ashley Bernal. Congratulations, Ashley. Abby Brown is a pleasure to have in class and online. She is positive, always attentive and enjoys participating. She also has excellent written and verbal communication skills. Abby has worked hard this year. When things get tough or complicated, some people give up and turn around. Abby has consistently shown grit, determination, and the desire to go the extra mile to achieve her goals. The Gertrude Ellian Award for seventh grade science excellence goes to Abby Brown. Congratulations, Abby. Now for the eighth grade science awards. When I presented these two awards, I had a number of criteria. One of them is talent. The two award winners clearly have lots of talent. Secondly, creativity, the very complex and difficult challenges facing society today are going to take creative and divergent minds to find win-win solutions that will work for everyone. These two students are very creative. Grit and hard work. Anything worth doing is going to require hard work. These two students have shown over and over again they have the grit and the willingness to work hard to get things done. And finally, having their own voice. You must strive to find your own voice because the longer you want to begin, the less likely you are to find it at all. Even at eighth grade, these two are definitely finding their own voice. And it's a beautiful thing to see. So the eighth grade science awards going to two students who I think very much could have the chance to cure cancer someday are going to go to Christian Hawley and Lillian Richardson. Hello, I'm Mrs. Zercher, and I'm going to give out the sixth grade ELA awards for the 2021 school year. So it is my pleasure to award this first award, the Excellence in ELA Award, to Trey Karstensen. Um, Trey, you are so deserving of this award 
for the constant hard work and effort that you put forth in ELA throughout this entire crazy COVID school year that we've had. Um, you are someone who has mastered many of the ELA skills and standards, but not only that, you were truly engaged and excited about learning throughout this whole year. Um, I am beyond proud of you and your accomplishments. So great job, Trey. And the second award that I am so happy to give out is the Exceptional Student Award. And I'm giving this to Jordan Simon. Um, this really is one of my favorite awards to give out. And when I think about an exceptional student, these are the things that come to mind. Someone who works hard, um, who is courteous and respectful, somebody who's a self manager um, and just kind of just puts it upon themselves to get things finished. Uh, somebody who perseveres throughout, um, even when things are really hard, like this school year has been um, exceptionally hard. Uh, somebody who participates, someone who is dependable that I can just count on whenever I need something, somebody that has manners. Um, someone who does the right thing, even when no one is watching. Um, somebody that has a positive attitude and above all, somebody that is just kind and friendly to everyone. And Jordan, you really are all of these things and more. And I'm so proud of you for being the person that you are. So keep being exceptional. Oh, hey. Hi, I'm Miss Willow, and I have all the ELA 7th graders this year, and so I guess I'm going to have to give those awards. If you want to stick around and listen, that'd be cool. All right, here. Let me uh, get my glasses. Oh, no, they're already on. My bad. Um, so, I hate to say this, but even though almost every child was awesome and everybody deserved an award for some kind of cool thing, I could only pick two. So don't feel bad if you're not picked. But if you are picked, you're awesome, too. Okay, so first up for ELA is Gabby Peterson. Gabby, I, I can't tell you how awesome and amazing you are. You're always on time, you're kind to everybody, you're really hardworking, you're always engaged in class, always willing to help me out, especially when no one else has their hand raised and I'm just standing there looking like a dork. I mean, I stand there and look like a dork normally, but thank you for saving me every once in a while by answering the question for me. Props, girl, I appreciate it. And then the second award for ELA, super stellar seventh grader, goes to Ian Boland. Ian, just like Gabby, I am absolutely amazed with your stellar work ethic. The fact that you're organized and awesome, your writing is wonderful, you read great books, and I am so proud of everything you've done this year. So Gabby and Ian, great job. You guys get the ELA Stellar Student Award for seventh grade. See you later. I'm going to present the winners for our eighth grade ELA award this year. Both of these winners have a few things in common. First, they're very good writers. But aside from that, they're very dedicated students, even in a rowdy classroom. They know when to work and they bring everyone else into focus as well. Our first winner I've known since 2019, which is a long time ago now. This is back when we had 32 students in a classroom. And even in a class that had a lot of big personalities, this student was always doing his work. He was still smiling with us and enjoying the class with us, but he was dedicated and on task and just a fantastic student to have in the classroom. So our first student for eighth grade ELA award is Ryder Britton. The second student this year, I've only known this school year, and actually only in 2021 have I really seen him because we were online for the first half of the year, and we only got to have a few weeks together. But during that time, it was those same qualities of being dedicated, hard worker, on target, and bringing the class together as well. Even in a class of only 10 that was uh, a little bit loud and boisterous, he could bring the class together and back to focus, which is a fantastic quality to have. So our second winner this year is Tristan Meyer. Congratulations, guys. I'm sorry, I forgot. Um, I also teach sign language and so I gotta give one a word for that too. Um, so anyway, sign language, online, no bueno. 
okay? And if you don't know that language, it means no good. But some people stuck it out. One guy in particular had me all four quarters of sign language and I feel like I have to award his suffering for all four quarters being online. So Liam Arbuckle, you the man. I am so proud of you. I cannot believe you took that class four times through. Thank you uh, for not passing out from boredom. Uh, I hope that we are all in class together next year and can have some real fun with sign language, but you definitely deserve the award for this year. So, see you later. Hi, this, we are the Silverton Middle School Phys Ed Department and we are here to announce our Students of Excellence for Wellness PE. We have chosen the following categories and considered both your online and in-school presence. The following categories were sportsmanship, ability to play well with others, you're fully engaged at all times, and always trying your best. For sixth grade boy, Leo Icovino, and for sixth grade girl, Brayden Walters. Congratulations, you guys, you both have blocked it. Hi, I'm Mrs. Hayden. I teach seventh grade wellness and PE, and my students of excellence for this year are Leo Uribe and Gemma Milik. Nice job, you guys. And I'm Mr. Buckles, teach eighth grade and Ryder Britton and Brooklyn Pfeiffer. Congratulations to all of you. Congratulations. Hi everybody, Mr. Miller here. Our first band award goes to somebody who consistently shows up. She is always paying attention to class. She's always volunteering and she's just helping make the music program better. And that is to Ella Lulik. Our second band award goes to somebody who is also always participating, who is also always showing up, who has such a positive attitude and brings a cheeriness to the whole band, um, and that is to Madeline Stolfus. Hi, my name is Cindy Holly. I'm the coding teacher at Silverton Middle School. It's my pleasure to announce this year's Outstanding Coding Student Award. And that award goes to Joseph Potter. He's taken his skills from basic block coding into JavaScript and now into website design. I look forward to seeing his creations in the future. Great job, Joseph. Congratulations. Welcome to this year's edition of Who is an Awesome Choir Kid? Who is that for 2020-2021? It is... Lillian Richardson. She is awesome and amazing, and I am so happy to see how well she flourished this year. She is an amazing individual and was a joy to have in class. Our next awesome choir kid for the year 2020 to the year 2021 is Brianna. Brianna is so fantastic oh my goodness she has done an amazing job in choir this year and i am so proud of how hard she has worked and how much she has developed she is great and i i just adore her one of this year's awesome drama kids is kate kate is so fantastic and i'm going to be so honest with you when she did her monologue performance in class it was one of the best drama performances I have ever seen by a middle schooler. She is amazing and is so deserving of this. Congratulations, Kate. Our next awesome drama kid for the year 2020 to the year 2021 is Christian. Guys, this guy is ridiculously talented, yet he is super humble and such a hard worker. It has really been an honor to have him in class and watch how he has developed his skills and talents. Congratulations, Christian. It's that time of year again. It's the award season, and I'm giving out my two leadership awards. I'd like to honor these two lovely ladies. Many of you have heard their voices, beautiful voices over the intercom once we've returned to school. They are both uh, responsible, they are dependable, um, reliable, everything you kind of need in a leader. You, you want someone who's got your back. Um, their ideas are creative. Uh, Madison specifically, Madison Sullivan, the first one I'd like to honor, has been my AG student as well, and it's been a pleasure to get to know her. And I look forward to seeing all the things that she does at high school and know that as she enters the adult world, she will be an incredible asset to any company, any business that she may open or work for just 
a remarkable young lady. And I just want to say thank you to her specifically for all the help and, and support she's given the leadership group and myself over this year, which has been a, it's been a, it's been quite a year. So we definitely need those, those shiners, those bright lights, which is why I'm giving, that's right, a sweet little light to my award winners. So this is for both Madison Sullivan and Cordelia Bay. Thank you to you lovely ladies and all of the help that you've given me, leadership group and the student body over the course of this year. I wish you guys the best of luck at high school and hope to see you continue to take on leadership roles there as well. Thank you.